everybody. I'm April Sunshine and I'm with Siobhan Palmer and we're the Plaid Girls. Girls. Come to your town. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we're broadcasting live this week from the absolutely beautiful Trinity River campus of Tarrant County College in downtown Fort Worth. This is one of the crown jewels we have in our downtown area. And if you can notice behind us, we've got some of the students here at TCC studying away. Yes. Why are we here today? Well, I think that you had a meeting with a very important person here today. I think I did. <laughs> you know who it was? It was the new president of the Trinity River campus of Tarrant County College, Dr. Sean Madison. And may I just say what an incredible gentleman yeah, let's he is. Look at, look, there, this is Sean. Can you see Sean? He's been appointed as the president of the Trinity River campus. He's been here three weeks, so I stalked him and got a meeting. <laughs> I just finished with him. He's still recovering. But this is why we love Dr. Madison. Yes. Can you see that, ladies and gents? Got the plaid uh, tie there, presented it to him as a little token of our appreciation for our partnership with TCC, and the man just ripped off his yellow tie, and BAM! <laughs> there you go. He's our man for plaid this week. Dr. We Sean love Madison. it. We love it. So uh, what did you guys talk about at your meeting today? Well, I was so excited to meet him. Again, Tarrant County College is a leader in this community, and he's very excited. He came from Florida about this opportunity. But what's so interesting is Tarrant County College really works with the uh, corporations and the business community mm -hmm. to determine the needs of what it's going to be like for the workforce mm -hmm. in the future, mm -hmm. and they match the curriculum to the needs of the, the workforce in Tarrant County. So it's a very strong... Ah, very symbiotic relationship. I love that. Just a few facts I think that will blow you away about Tarrant County College. Um, they service over 100,000 students oh, wow. amongst their five campuses. The campuses yeah. are spread out around, around Tarrant County. And what is so cool is each campus specializes in a particular area. So Trinity River downtown, they're, they uh, specialize in allied health care. So you've got nurse practitioners, okay. physicians assistants. Uh, Northeast campus, they uh, they, uh, oh, I'm having a senior moment. They specialize Drama. in culinary. 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 I would never pass the curriculum there. <laughs> if it weren't for Jason's Deli, a... my husband would be dead. <laughs> You're not a chef either? Not a Me chef. either. The Platt girls are not. It's a good thing we're cute. Yeah. <laughs> my culinary skills are to be desired. So anyway, amazing statistics. They're real community partners yeah. and um, they're just making a great impact in this community. So welcome Dr. Sean uh, yes, Madison. Yes, welcome. Another great person who leads Tarrant mm -hmm. County College, the head lady here yeah, is talk about her. Chancellor Irma Johnson Hadley. This beautiful lady started her career with Tarrant County College close to 50 years ago. Wow. And she's 50, from 50 years, years ago. ago. She looks 40. How? I know. What? I know. She's amazing. I can I she grew up in East Texas uh, when it was legal segregation was the norm back then. Oh, wow. Overcame so many challenges and just worked her way up through the system here at Tarrant County College. What's so exciting is uh, Chancellor Hadley Johnson is, um, or Johnson Hadley, excuse me, is a member of the Texas Women's Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. She was inducted in 2010 and she is among amazing company. Um, it's uh, located at the Texas Women's University campus in Denton, Texas. So if you not, have an opportunity to stop by and see all oh, these amazing great. women that are in the Texas Women's Hall of Fame. Well, and she's such a bright light for TCC, and her smile just kills Amazing. me every time. She's really um, diversified the student population here, the faculty population, and created great alliances with businesses and major universities like TCU, UTA, oh, yes. uh, Texas Women's, UNT, so it's a very collaborative type effort. Awesome. Love so her. we love TCC and Plaza Partnership, and I think that about wraps segment one. Should we give it a wrap? <laughs> Welcome back to the Plaid Girls. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously this has been in the news, but we felt like we needed to bring it up because it was is a very um, poignant moment mm -hmm. when Mr. Trump uh, made a comment several weeks ago about the appearance of the only female uh, Republican uh, candidate, mm -hmm. Carly Fiorina, former um, executive of Hewlett Packard, and here is Miss Fiorina. And quite frankly, um, it caused a lot of uh, controversy. And so we applaud, just wanted to applaud Miss Fiorina for the way she handled that very misogynistic remark from Mr. Trump. And basically said, Ash, that 
this is a face, this is a 61 year old face and I'm proud of my face and the wrinkles and everything that goes with it. And I thought was brilliant and probably what, um, one of the few things that struck Donald Trump mute in this entire campaign, she said, the women of America heard what you said, Mr. Trump. So Donald, exactly, 52% of the population, bro. That's exactly right. Might want to reel it in there, <laughs> Mr. Trump. I love, I love that she owned her age and owned who she is as a person because mm -hmm. I feel like that's what's missing from so many women's lives is they're worried about their wrinkles and they're just worried the about the numbers mm -hmm. that, of how old they are and it, it's just kind of a natural thing mm -hmm. to feel well, especially with our society. With society yeah Absolutely. exactly and you know that's the antithesis of what Plant for Women is all about we're trying to tell women to feel love mm -hmm. yourself from the inside out mm -hmm. and that your value is not based on the kind of mascara you wear or the clothes you wear that's right. and so um, well, we're all getting it together here. The Estrogen Express is ready to leave the station, so hop on board. I love the Blue Zones. Um, you know, Blue Zones has come to Fort Worth to make. Would you uh, explain what Blue Zones? Is? Blue Zones are. They're trying to help us live longer and healthier okay. lives. Mm -hmm. So Blue Zones has come to Fort Worth to do some initiatives. You might have seen, like at Central Market, they have um, parking. Blue Zone parking. It's like way far away from the store, so you have to walk all the way in. Um, they also have a blue zone lane that you can check out um, in and there are like bananas and oranges and apples in the checkout lane instead of candy bars and little Debbie the, snack cakes the yeah. yummy 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 goody 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 stuff that right. um, we really love of course mm -hmm. but they're meant to be treats not to be you know yeah. consumed all the time all the time all the time sure. so blue zones has come and they're doing amazing amazing things and I was going somewhere with that with no, but the, uh, oh the age thing yes oh yes so some countries that um, you know they promote they revere the elderly they do and they have like instead of magazines about like 17 magazine and like you know only putting you know very young healthy, you know, teeny yeah. tiny models. Airbrushed. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, totally airbrushed. They have like Centurion magazines that, you know, are, are all around their community mm -hmm. trying to promote Absolutely. the awesomeness that is 100 year olds and yeah, so and the, the wisdom that comes with aging exactly. instead of a throwaway where this yeah. society it's almost a syndicate elderly in this country yeah. and the rest of the country looks at it like us like we're nuts that's so. right so that's we good. want you guys to own it we want to own it we want to at Plaid for Women we want to own it okay segment two done <laughs> Okay, to wrap up this week's Plaid Girls, That's right. coming to you from the beautiful Trinity River campus of Tarrant County College in downtown yes. Fort Worth. <laughs> okay, this is our No Mean Girls. No Mean Girls segment. Dun, 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 I dun, love dun, No Mean Girls. Dun, dun. No Mean Girls. Let's okay, make a girl. change. What are we? Um, what is our task for No Mean Girls this week? So we've got an encourage task this week, and it is to practice. The golden rule. So, the golden rule. Siobhan, enlighten people. What is the golden rule? In case they've forgotten what the golden rule is. Ooh, what is the golden rule? Love your neighbor, neighbor as, as yourself, myself. or treat others the way you want to be treated. Correct. Or love yeah. Brad Pitt, even though he's married to Angela. <laughs> Oh, right. That is. No, honestly. And I yeah. think we're very exciting. I know if many of you know or not, we started a Kickstarter campaign in January mm -hmm. on the No Mean Girls campaign, and we're developing and have already got prototypes for hashtag No Mean Girls journals right. in the workplace That's and right. hashtag No Mean Girls at school. And the intent is to go in to these locations and help women change their behavior as as it relates to how they work with each other in the workplace and even the babies, yes. the little ones. Yes. And I just want to, speaking of little ones, Yay. Ash, why don't you put that up? These are some of our littlest uh, plaid girls on the No Mean Girls campaign. We <laughs> Give actually, these guys some hearts, everybody. Aww. Look at how cute they are. This was taped at a Montessori school in Fort Worth that my beautiful stepdaughter, Nepotism, <laughs> teaches at. And we had a great time interviewing these babies, and it was oh. very poignant about mm -hmm. um, what came out in that information. So we really enjoyed it. That's right, they really wanted to, they just wanted to be included, um, and they wanted to encourage others and, and not be felt left out. They were, that was really what came out of that, for sure. I think the worst thing about bullying is in, no matter how successful you become in life as you get older, if you were built, bullied as a child and made to feel less than others, you carry that with you the, re, 
the remainder of your life, even into your mm -hmm. adult years, and that really can impact you. So we've got to nip this bullying in the butt. That's right. In the early years, and believe me, Platform Women is one of the uh, leading organizations in the country now that's committed that's to right. making that stop. Amen. Amen. Amen, sister. Amen. Well, excellent. Well, we're so glad that you guys joined us for uh, the Plaid Girls yes. today, live from beautiful Trinity River Campus, of Tarrant County, Tarrant College. County College. And one more thing before we close: sure. the average age of the Tarrant County College student is 25 years old. They have programs for people in transition wanting to go back to school. It's just an amazing um, educational facility, exciting time, mm -hmm. uh, continuing education. So check it out at tccd.edu. And we'll close with Miss Ash. Let's do a plug for plan. Okay. Visit plaidforwomen.com, become a member, blog for free. We want you to be heard in many, many ways this week. And, and we be. know. <laughs> and be plaid. And be plaid. <laughs> we'll see you next week on the Plaid Girls. <laughs> Woo! That was a surprise. <laughs>